I am just getting started with and learning about IFTTT, but I can already see how much more you can get out of your Echo and other smart devices. You can set triggers and actions that are not normally available. I'm gonna share with you what I've learned so far and how you could apply it to the Echo. Hi, my name is Craig, here I do tech videos, and this is part of my weekly Echo series. If you're new here, consider subscribing and click that bell. Also, check out the description if you want to learn more about the Echoes or anything else about the channel. This is episode 6 of my 2019 weekly Echo series. I do have a playlist of 2018's videos. Check it out if you haven't. I've also changed the name of my device to Amazon, so hopefully I don't trigger your device at home. What is IFTTT? According to Wikipedia, IFTTT is a free web-based service to create chains of simple conditional statements called applets. An applet is triggered when changes occur between connected devices and other web services. What does that stand for though? The IFTT stands for if this and the TT stands for then that. That basically means if this happens then that's gonna happen. So the if this portion is the trigger and the then that is the action. So how do you use it? You can go to ifttt.com and set up an account or download the app for your smart device and set up an account. Once you have your app downloaded, you can look through the list of applets that are available. If we look here, there's a bunch of them that are already made. Initially, this may sound intimidating to start using this protocol, but as you scroll through the list, you see there's all these applets that have been made by other users that are contributed, and they're basically a command from one device to a service or device to do something else. As we scroll through the applets, you can see that they're all basic command and actions. It shows you first what will be triggering the command and a little icon in the bottom right corner of what type of device will be triggered or what type of service the command will add something to. You can go up to the top, you can do a search for Amazon apps you can also uh, just scroll down and see what popular applets are out there. Here are a few of the applets that I found that I like by scrolling through. I found the Find My Phone option, which will allow me to use my Echo to call a phone number either on my iPhone or on an Android phone, and it'll locate it for me. I know I can say call my name, and then it'll, it'll call from my contacts to my phone but there's also the possibility I might accidentally call somebody else with the same first name, Craig. This is just going to call my phone. Next on here, I have send your Amazon Echo shopping list to your email. With this, I could add stuff to my shopping list and it'll send it right over as an email to whatever email address I give it. Another one I thought was great was receive a notification on your phone when your Amazon timer goes off. Let's say you set a timer in one room, you walk away, and you don't hear that timer go off. You'll get a notification on your phone. I also like this one here that works with my LifeX bulbs. They have it also for Hue bulbs and other type of bulbs. This one, if the timer goes off, it'll cause my lights to blink. The next one, which I think is great, I don't use the to-do list on my Echo because I don't use one of the supported services to sync it with. With this applet, it will use my to-do list. I can add something here and it will put it on my reminders list that I normally would use. All my to-do items, I could be anywhere in the house, not have my phone and say, remind me to do this or add this to my to-do list and it will sync it up where I want it on my phone, which will then sync it to all my other devices. To utilize these applets with your Echo devices, you're going to need to give your IFTTT account permission to access your Amazon account. It allows it to write to your account information. So here, if I click on it, here's the settings. It tells me exactly what to do or what to say. It will add it to my account because I gave it permission. When I click the gear, it shows me the settings that are set up for this applet. 
And this one doesn't need access to my iCloud account. It will just use the app in the phone. But I have it set up so that when I add something, it'll put it on my list name to do. I could even set a priority level. Once you do that, you hit save. And now that's gonna allow me to move information where I want it. Amazon, add make video to my to-do list. I added make video to your to-do list. So it's added it onto my to-do list. I should get a notification. It should add it onto my reminders list here. Let's open up reminders, check my to-do. I see the notification that it ran the applet. If I go over to my reminders, it shows make a video right on the top. So now this actually has a lot more value than it normally would have. I could implement this if I was using Gmail so it sends to my calendars there. I could add things to my to-do list and it will email me those things. I can also add things to my shopping list. If I go to my timer connected to my lights, I had to connect my Amazon account. I had to connect my LifeX account, but I could pick which lights I want. I could have them turn them on if they're not on, the number of blinks and what color they'll blink in, and the brightness. What's nice about these applets too is most of them allow you to flip the switch so that you can receive notifications on your phone when it is being run. So for example, if I'm not in the room, the lights start blinking, I don't hear the alarm, but I still have my phone with me, I'll get a notification on the phone. Let's try this one. Amazon, set a timer for three seconds. Three seconds, starting now. We'll wait. Now the timer's going off, if you look behind me, that light is flashing red. I have one over here that's flashing red. I also received a notification on my phone that says uh, that the applet is running, IFTTT, and as long as that timer's going, it's gonna keep blinking. You can tie your Gmail account or some other accounts to the device so when you receive an email, it'll actually take your lights to a particular color. You can write your own and start to implement these things. First thing you're gonna do is hit plus to start writing one. You can pick the this. If this happens, you can pick here's popular device. You receive an Instagram update. It'll go to your phone. You can pick your Amazon Echo as a choice. But as you scroll down here, there are so many things. You have the Arlo camera. Best Buy notification. It's different places that you might have an account set up. You know, we scroll through, you can pick Facebook. Oh, let's pick email. So if I receive an email, I could select that. Then let's go through, it will show up in my notifications or it'll let me know on, it'll add it to my calendar. But let's go through and find these LifeX bulbs. There's my bulbs. Uh, let's blink the lights to let me know I got a new email. I will pick my office. We'll have it turn on the lights. Number of blinks. Let's have it blink five times. Let's pick a color. Let's do this as a blue. Brightness, we'll have it take it up to 100%. We'll hit done. I'll create the action there. It's writing it. I can change the title if I want. I can receive notifications when it runs. I hit finish. If I go to the discover section and I type in, do a search right off the bat, and it'll show me the popular ones that are here for using the irrigation system, the sync to the reminders, uh, the trigger Orion space lighting, receive a notification on your phone when the timer goes off, you know, iOS reminders for grocery list, blink your hue bulbs, make your own, arm your smart alarm, sync your to-do list with your Google Calendar, play a song on your Sonos device, create an event on your iOS calendar. Maybe you don't want to sync your calendar to the Amazon app. You could go this way. There is so much possibility with this. It doesn't have to just be your Echo device. You can use it with so many of your smart devices. You could use it with other services. You could have your tweets automatically posted to Facebook. 
you can have Instagram photos automatically tweeted out too. If you use your imagination, apparently there's like 20 million applets written a day according to Wikipedia. I do need to learn more about this. I'll do a follow-up video at some time as I find more interesting things to use with it. This video was really about exposing IFTTT to you if you've never used it. It's simple to use and implement. I had kind of stayed away from it thinking I would need to learn more about it and get deeper into it before I'd even be able to do anything with it. But now I see there's so many possibilities. Let me know what you think in the comment section. If you like this video, please hit that like button. If you haven't, consider subscribing and click that bell to be notified of the next video. If you'd like to help support the channel, check out the Amazon links in the description. If you use it, Amazon will kick us back a little. There's also international links that will take you to your home country's Amazon page and it'll support this channel still. Please also go visit craigpolson.com. There's other ways to support the channel there and you could just keep up with whatever's coming up in the channel news. Thank you Sorry, for watching. I'm not sure about that. Thank you for watching and have a great day.